Psalms 91 He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. In my God, in Him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With a long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Lord Jesus, the Son of the living God, as you have spoken in your word, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Provide us rest in our homes, Master. Bestow peace upon our households. I praise your sacred name for your kindness and your compassion over my life and my family. Grateful for your presence that extends to me, my family, and my home. You deserve all the honor, Father, and in my life, you are truly worthy of exaltation. Thank you for safeguarding, shielding, directing, and guiding me. Just as you guided the children of Israel with fire at night and a cloud by day, lead us today as your children, Lord. Just as you led them through the parted Red Sea on dry ground, I pray that you will similarly make a way for me and my family. I pray that any opposing army, challenges, or enemies seeking to pursue me will be vanquished in the name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit assist me in fixing my gaze upon the author and finisher of my faith, Jesus Christ. Grant me the courage to distance myself from individuals who do not contribute positively to my life, from toxic friends and from unhealthy relationships. Father God, I pray for a closer walk with you, and beyond that, I pray to walk in the Spirit so that I may not yield to the works of the flesh. Drive out any darkness, any unclean presence from our homes, and illuminate our lives with your pure, holy light. The enemy seeks only to steal, kill, and destroy, but Lord, you bring life. 
In you, there is a fullness of joy, protection, and freedom. Assist us in donning the full armor of God so we may always be prepared to withstand all attacks from the enemy. We declare Psalm 23 verse 6 over our homes. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. We turn to you to be our shield and defense, recognizing that you hold all authority. At your voice, every demon trembles in fear in your presence. No other power can stand against you. Despite any doubts or thoughts the enemy tries to plant in my heart, nothing can ever diminish my hope and faith in you. Taking inspiration from Joshua in the Bible who declared, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. We echo this commitment today. We declare that together with everyone listening, we will serve Jesus Christ. It is our earnest desire to serve you, King Jesus. We believe in you. We cling to you. We depend on you. We rely on you. I express my gratitude, Heavenly Father, for the battles you have fought on my behalf. All the glory and honor belong to you alone, for you are truly deserving of my adoration. Thank you, Father, for what you have accomplished in my life, for your ongoing work, and for the future blessings yet to unfold. Your faithfulness towards me is truly great. Lord, there are those who seek healing because their families are currently broken. Unforgiveness and strife reside in their homes. In this very moment, as we welcome the presence of Jesus Christ, I pray that healing will begin to unfold within these broken homes. Mend every scar, rectify every unkind act, and dissolve every negative word. Bring healing, Lord. Extend your healing touch into our lives and unify every home and family that is listening. May your word reign in our hearts. May your will be done in our hearts. Your word in 1 John chapter 4, verse 7-8 through 8 says, Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. I declare war against cycles of sin that attempt to ensnare me in the name of Jesus. I reject every scheme of the enemy in Jesus' name. Through faith, I express gratitude for the victory. By faith, I appreciate your provision of strength for myself and my family to conquer every challenge and obstacle that may come our way. Lord Jesus, shield us from all types of evil. Keep us rooted in truth, Father. Protect us from being misled by the doctrines of this world or scumming to the spirit of fear. Lord, grant us the wisdom to discern and navigate through the challenges of this world. Assist us in adhering to your word and acting in obedience to your perfect will. Expel anything that seeks to corrupt us. We reject and rebuke any spirit that is not from you. We rebuke every spirit that aims to disturb or hinder us from seeking you. Nothing can revoke the promise of eternal life I have in you. Our hearts long to be enfolded within your arms, King Jesus, for in your arms is the safest refuge. Thank you, God, for your unwavering protection, for your faithfulness, and for attentively hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and Amen. Lord Jesus, we approach you with honor, glory, and praise, recognizing your worthiness of all adoration. As we stand before you, we reflect on your word, which instructs us to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. 
your words declare. Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Lord Jesus, I express gratitude for the unparalleled example of love you've set. Thank you for relinquishing the splendors of heaven, assuming human form, and selflessly sacrificing your life for my eternal salvation. You gave everything for me, paying the ultimate price. How could I ever repay you? All I can do is dedicate my life in service to you, Master. Lord, my earthly gaze is limited to the daunting challenges and seemingly insurmountable obstacles in my midst. I beseech you to unveil my spiritual sight that I may perceive the celestial beings encircling me and recognize the favor and grace you have lavished upon my life. May the Holy Spirit infuse me with audacity and bravery, reinforcing that fear no longer enslaves me. I am indeed a child of God, endowed not with a spirit of trepidation, but one of potency, affection, and a composed intellect. In the name of Jesus Christ, I join in prayer that your soul and the souls of all those listening be guarded against the schemes of the devil, shielded from the grasp of sin, and protected from deceit and every form of evil. May the hope placed in the Lord be a stronghold and may integrity and uprightness be a shield in the journey of life. Lord, I seek your assistance in this aspect of my life. Help me guard my thought life, bringing every sinful and impure thought into captivity. Grant me the strength to cast down selfish thoughts. Lord Jesus, you beckon us to forsake self-interest urging us to embrace a willingness to endure whatever may come for your sake when we take up our cross. Endow us with the spirit that yearns to be used by you, Lord Jesus, but only if it brings you glory, only if it magnifies your praise. Father God, I seek your enduring presence to envelop me continually. May your divine presence encircle me at all times. Guard my every step. Grant us hearts and minds wholly devoted to following you, seeking always to uplift your name. Instill in us a spirit of humility that echoes more of you and less of me. Lord, and as I face the uncertainty ahead, I pray that you lead the way and grant me the strength to overcome whatever challenges may arise. I express my gratitude, Lord. Be exalted and elevated, Master. I appreciate your attentive ear to my prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I believe it is accomplished. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and Amen. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come before your presence with gratitude and praise. I express my thanks for your abundant goodness and unfailing mercy in my life. You are the Lord God Almighty, the great I am. I declare that you are my refuge, the chief cornerstone, and I choose to place my trust in the true and living God. Thank you, Lord, for your constant presence. Lord, in your mercy, you have accomplished everything necessary for my salvation. I earnestly pray for your grace, Lord. Grant me the strength to prioritize you in every aspect of my life. Bestow upon me the grace to maintain a presence of mind, ensuring that I don't become so entangled in distractions that I neglect my time with you on a daily basis. I claim the promise from your word in Psalms 91, where you assure protection from the terror by night and the arrow that flies by day. I fully believe in your faithfulness to your word, recognizing you as a mighty and all-powerful God. With sincere gratitude, I enter your presence, thanking you for the protection over my life. 
You are my safe space, my refuge, and I am truly grateful for your wonderful care and tender mercies. Lord, you are my refuge, providing shelter from life's storms and difficulties. I invoke the blood of Jesus upon every member of my family, seeking your protection and preservation of life. I declare that the gates of hell shall not prevail against me and my loved ones. In the name of Jesus, I commit myself and my family into your hands. Indeed, life is filled with numerous distractions, but I join you in prayer, asking that the Holy Spirit may guide and empower you to prioritize Lord Jesus as the primary focus of your life. As you seek him first, trusting in his promises, all other aspects of life will fall into place. Father, I humbly request that you unveil any hidden idols that might be taking your place in my heart. Grant me the willingness to joyfully set aside anything that hinders me from wholeheartedly pursuing you. Guide me to prioritize the important things, shaping my habits to involve more prayer, more time spent reading the word, and increased worship dwelling in your presence. Through these practices, may I deepen my love for you and draw closer to your boundless grace. Lord, if necessary, intervene dramatically in my life. Prevent me from being stuck in my ways in Jesus. Keep me from being blind to areas of sin and weakness. Father, may every action I take be driven by my love for you. Whether I find myself in the solitude of my home or in the midst of a bustling street, let your love pour into my words, actions, and attitudes. Guard against letting my relationship with you become a burden but rather let it be a source of joy. I pray that I never lose the sense of wonder and may you continually remind me of the beauty of the gospel and the price you pay to secure my soul for your kingdom. I pray for your protection, Lord, shielding me and my family from unseen dangers. Let no demon from hell, no unclean spirit, no generational curse, and no misfortune touch me or my loved ones because of your mighty presence, God. In the powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a name above all names, I ask for your continued protection. I apply the blood of Jesus upon every doorpost and window of my home for protection in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your pillar of fire be visible where my family and I dwell every night. Lord, you have promised not to allow sickness and disease to come near me. Therefore, I declare that sickness and disease are far from me. Lord, I desire to love you with my whole being. I yearn to withhold nothing, giving you my undivided attention, for nothing surpasses your wonder, glory, and worth. Gratitude fills my heart for your everlasting love, which remains steadfast even when I stray. Thank you for listening to my prayer. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.